want to take a step back and sort of point out we've kind of been here before. Mm -hmm. So August 13th, how far were the polls off in Michigan, Pennsylvania, in Wisconsin? And this is in 2016 and 2020. Trump was estimated both times around and by significant margins. Take a look here in 2016, the average poll in those states I mentioned, those Great Lake battleground states, Trump was underestimated by nine points on average at this point in 2016. How about 2020? It wasn't a one-off. Look at this. He was underestimated by five points on average. And of course, Kamala Harris's advantage in those New York Times Siena College polls were four points in each of these key battleground states, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. The bottom line is this. If you have any idea, if you're a Kamala Harris fan and you want to rip open the champagne bottle, pop that cork, do not do it. Donald Trump is very much in this race. If we have a polling shift like we've seen in prior years from now until the final result, Donald Trump would actually win. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I am saying that he is very much in this ballgame based upon where he is right now and compare that to where he was in prior years. We certainly heard the Harris campaign saying we have to keep fighting. That Absolutely. This is definitely not over. All right. Uh, let's talk about enthusiasm and how that translates actually. Uh, we are quite a ways out again, three months about. Yeah. You know, you uh, yesterday I was mentioning, you know, the enthusiasm for the Democratic ticket was up. Yep. But that enthusiasm is not the same thing as going out to actually vote. And there's a different <laughs> question, which essentially says, how certain are you actually going to go out and vote? And this is the top range. Almost certain to vote. Again, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. This is among registered voters. Look at this. Look at Kamala Harris now compared to where Joe Biden was back in May. In fact, 62% of Joe Biden voters said they were almost certain to turn out and vote. Now, it's gone down. It's actually oh. gone down a little bit. I would call this in the same general area at 61%. But it's basically unchanged. And look at Donald Trump. He was at 58% in May. He's actually gone up a little bit now. He's at 60% now. Again, <laughs> basically no real change. So the bottom line here is, yes, there may be more enthusiasm for Kamala Harris, but the fact is we're not seeing that necessarily translate in the almost certain vote. And one little other note, Sarah, I will note this. Donald Trump is more popular today than he was on August 13th in either 2020 or 2016. So the bottom line is, yes, Kamala Harris is doing better in the polls, but there's a long way to go. The polls can shift. The almost certain the vote hasn't actually shifted, and Donald Trump is more popular than he was at either 2016 or 2020 at this point. Trump 2020 vote. Uh oh, they scared. They scared, man. Yeah, yeah they're they gonna pull something else out their head. We gotta be real, America. If Kamala is anywhere near Donald Trump in the votes, I feel like that's a huge problem because well, it's, it's like be, it's gonna happen. We know I don't think it's gonna, gonna to. be, bro. That's it's crazy. Going to. It's gonna be. She it's just be. entered, bro. The vape said it was 50 50 today. Yeah, it is 50 50. There's no way. There's no way to know where it's going to go. There's no way to know it's going to go. On the breakfast club, he said, it is. said that. It is 50 50. He said he think it's 50 50. He didn't yes. say he said it is. It is 50 50. Bro, that is we a just have problem. The, we have to face the music. Here. He said that she is actually leading in some polls, like Michigan. This is from Vivek Ramaswamy. I seen that. These people were saying she was winning Wisconsin. I was like, she's winning the what? swing states. That's I what he see. said, though. But he said they were off nine points in some of these swing states last time with these polls. Well, I just seen and they you know, cheated. I think all the black men, because you know, Minnesota. the more I go talk to black men, bro, a lot of them vote for Trump, and ain't no black men doing no polls. So he gonna, <laughs> he gonna have a, a nice But this comeback. was bullshit, because he said these are among registered voters. I don't uh, understand how they collect this data. Like, how how, sure? how can you collect this? How, are they getting the how many votes? registered voters are being polled? They're probably taking the early mm -hmm. voters, probably. But how many registered voters are being polled, bro? You're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to take, like, from a... a Evenly biased. I don't. I just feel like it, it psychologically cool gets people. you because it's like if you come home and see that you're like, well, Kamala's right there by Trump. Then you're gonna be like, well, maybe I'm not tripping for voting for her. She's a black woman. Let's just put that vote in. I feel like that's why they do that. I don't think, bro. But if Vivek said it was fifty fifty, if you think fifty percent of the world is just brainless, <laughs> it was like, just it was funny because that's like, a problem. I remember that's they the had problem. a poll before, that's like crazy. with Biden. In in Trump when after the debate and they said if Kamala became president she had a negative four chance of winning or anybody liking her now it's all of a sudden they saying she's winning yeah or, or maybe yeah. we just we react and do politic content so like maybe we've been following it maybe people actually don't look to who they're really gonna vote for like you know people at work every day to buy two months out they look into the policies maybe so maybe Kamala lose on time. Man, we just looking at it a different way. Like the people are not people that's watching this right now, you know? How? Cause she 
how if we don't know no policies? I don't know. Bro, man. obviously it's fifty. If it's fifty, fifty, I think it's, I think it's 50, the 50 What's the reasoning behind it's that? It's the honeymoon stage. It's because they talk about. the identity politics for right now. Both of yeah. those. Yeah. They said at but first when she first joined, everyone's gonna be rocking with it, and then once it got to the policies and stuff, and what got to. When it got in that red zone, that nitty gritty. I think she's just. She, I think she's running. The independent voters who really think independently, they're gonna look at the numbers. They're gonna look at this stuff. I think. I think a lot of outside. independent voters are independent because they don't vote off like ideologies that the sides follow. They vote off economic numbers and things like that. Well, who can make my life better? And I think there's a clear cut answer here, but we've yet to see Kamala Harris's policy. So that'll be interesting to see if we ever do get those. We're not. Well, we don't know that, man. <laughs> we showed you polls at the top of the program for three battleground states showing Kamala Harris up by four percentage points Probably. in each. And we should point out that they are all within the margin of error, which range actually from four to 4.5 uh, 4.5 points. So they so are Kamala. still technically tied. But, you know, part of the, the discussion over the course of this last so 10 months has be been out. about young voters, whether... Uh, you know, they can sort of overcome some of this frustration that they have, particularly around the Gaza issue. And I'm, I'm wondering if you if you see, John, that these young voters see Vice President Harris as aligned with uh, Joe Biden. Does, does she carry that um, uh, burden, I guess, uh, that Joe Biden has had with young voters over the, the Gaza issue? Uh, or do they see her as a clean slate? You sort of touched on this, but I'm wondering uh, if you're seeing that in your conversations. I, I think we get a much better answer to that question when people return to campus in just a few weeks, which is why I think the vice president has a tremendous opportunity with the Democratic Convention next week to try to tee this up. Uh, there were two big reasons. Young voters in my travels over the last year uh, were just apathetic about Biden. They agree with him on the abortion issue, LGBT. So school's about to come again. Are students going to still protest? I doubt it. Uh, to doubt be honest it. with you, I they think they will. Bro. They were going pretty hard. It might be the opposite now because like Israel's getting bombed, so it might be. The, I hope not. I mean, they still, you know, they still protesting, bro. I mean, maybe. I mean, y'all saying they like the climate activists? Then they going all oh, yeah? They gonna be that then? <laughs> they gonna be that? Then, <laughs> so it, it's like kind of like weird. That. It's kind of weird if 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 the you know Palestine stuff is the main issue, and then we just seen that you know trump made peace uh treaty in the middle but East. that's the thing they probably don't know that bro them young, they you know, young know people you know, bro. They looking, they 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 seen the babies dying they going and, off nigga said yeah oh, yeah i ain't doing no research bro it, it looks like a sad situation and you know it is a sad situation it doesn't yeah, say it it's is. not to say it's not sad. Sad. Look, but you going is. out and doing this is not going to stop the situation it's, it's really at all yeah to be honest with you it's only one person for their savior. And but do they know that? If she's not a, a, a nominee yet, how is people able to vote for her right now? <laughs> That's a good question too. <laughs> Nobody ever I thought mean, about that. She <laughs> haven't got selected yet. <laughs> so how polls, how are I we doing? She has, she has these been. polls are bullshit. No, bro. They, they we don't know after uh, after the DNC. I ain't gonna lie. You that you might yeah. be on the side. Like polls how? Could just be bullshit. Well, we knew they were bull. What button are they clicking on? Remember, put this poll in. at that school. They said sixty-one percent of polls are inaccurate. I just want to know, like, where so do they keep the collecting the data for the pre-polls? Like, how many people are being polled? They need to start citing that. But I'm telling you, it's that an email. Bro. These are who we asked. We asked one hundred gram adults at Walmart. We asked 25 of them in California, 25 of them in Texas, 25 of them in, you know, okay, then I hear. But if you ask 100 people in one place, one area where they think the same, act the same, it's going to be biased. Well, it's probably the audience. So they I probably... mean, they tried to cite their source counter. They say college voters, but I don't know. I don't know. They done made us cite our source all our life in high school. Oh, yeah, yeah. So y'all cite your mother the source. I think the vice president has a tremendous opportunity with the Democratic convention next week to try to tee this up. Uh, there were two big reasons. Young voters in my travels over the last year uh, were just apathetic about Biden. They agree with him on the abortion issue, LGBTQ rights, the climate, and other things. They're mad, furious, angry about Palestine. Uh, they think the president has green-lighted a lot of Israeli uh, conduct that they find reprehensible. But they also had no connection to him because of his age. No connection at all. The younger part, the vibrant part, seeing the vice president out there, her deciding to go on a TikTok, that that has helped. Is it enough? That's the question. That's it, for the younger voters who have made the Israel-Hamas conflict a cause, that's her challenge. How do you get enough of them back? Because you know the numbers, and, and Arab-American voters, but Michigan, Georgia, one, one of the reasons those states went Democratic are younger voters. She's made progress. Is it enough? 
I know one thing. We got to get Georgia. Lord Georgia, Herschel. Georgia got to happen. I think they'll get Georgia. Oh, for sure. You think Lil Herschel uh, they said Pennsylvania. Again? Pennsylvania is a big one. I think Lil Herschel is running for governor. Nah, he, already got, he already got cooked once. <laughs> so he got cooked once. I mean, he can't go back out, though. He got better things. It's like, it's like putting the helmet back on. just enjoy his life. His brain is jello. So you're saying he got CTE? Oh, he's very well chance he has CTE, for sure. <laughs> There's playing with a helmet with a little... Dude, little, that, that, that stuff they used to Half a centimeter of foam and get out there. <laughs> no mouth. He was physical, too, bro. Well, I must beyond. have missed where Democrats called her a bum. I must have missed, missed where they questioned her ethnicity. I must have missed when Democrats uh, called her low IQ and stupid and all of the litany of awful insults that Donald Trump has levied against Kamala Harris since she's been the race. But did well, you miss when she couldn't even get a couple she, percentage points pretty. in 2020 to Who make it to the first time? This isn't, this isn't the first time Donald Trump She wasn't Trump wildly has, popular. It doesn't matter. She's the vice president of the United States and um, she's beating Donald Trump right now. So, but what also we are all not, that matters what, what, is what, what also we're November 5th. is that Donald Trump's history of insulting women is very long. As a matter of fact, and her it, history of failing long, is long, long as well. When it comes and to documented these policies, that how many times when he was at the bully pulpit, he insulted what, women what journalists repeatedly, this? including you, Abby, who he also called stupid, which you're not. You went to Harvard, and you are far from that. And. This is what Donald Trump does. He doesn't like to be held accountable. So because he is now in a position where he now is being held accountable for what he said, we know already that he has a history oh, of being a sexist. I don't believe and now he really cannot this is grapple base management. with the fact. These are not the arguments that are actually know. effective for Kamala Harris. Oh, if no? you look at the recent, up for example, Reid Hoffman's group she Blueprint has, has, has described what is effective for Kamala Harris. What is effective for her is taking positions that are the positions that would be endorsed by Joe Manchin and by Bernie Sanders, being perfectly down the line, I like will Donald protect Trump. Social Security and Medicare. <laughs> It's not actually attacking Trump. <laughs> what you guys are doing right now is, you know, helping <laughs> base facts. management right now. But it actually isn't something that moves the I'm needle. Just, what you see is actually this kind of base management doesn't actually have much of a material effect. Anti-Trump <laughs> arguments <laughs> are actually so played it's, it's out. It's so I think he's always the best one on that panel. I he keep I it real. I don't like how I don't. Well, no, I can't say that. I just I don't like how they always talk over each other, but. We're we a do, little, we uh, do that. Uh, uh, yeah, bro. Um, but they on damn CNN. Miss, we do Miss, our thing. Miss Donald Trump just don't like Donald Trump. That's crazy, man. It's crazy because it says she was a <laughs> former Republican secretary or something or communications woman. So I'm like, dang, lady, are you really a Republican? She like she got. Fake I just don't eye understand contact. how they continuously cry about the stuff that people say to them, and they do the same shit. They bro. do the exact same thing. But maybe yeah. worse. I'm not gonna, you know, Definitely. I'm not gonna point the finger and say they do it worse. But I'm just no, nah, bro. Do it, bro. No, bro. It's just like, but they do it and then complain about getting done to them. That's like a bully trying to bully somebody and crying when another bully try to bully you. Bro. Exactly. Hey, you and know, Tommy G went and investigated the, oh, the Trump assassination. Shit. I bet that's gonna be you know what crazy. I just thought about the the left side said they was gonna stop using certain rhetoric like. Threat to democracy because they was trying to kill this man, and then we. Woke I don't think up. they said that. They, 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 they didn't they, say yeah, that. Yeah, I I they, they, they never agreed to that. I thought they said they gonna start using certain. Nah, uh, maybe a, never, maybe a person. Bro, or two, I remember. They didn't come together I remember when he got shot. They gotta say we. That's when they started using different terms. To maybe a couple, a couple of them. They said we gotta mm -hmm. stop calling but, them Nazis. Well, maybe and, on MSNBC, I think and somebody, start saying, um, yeah, 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 like one or two democracy. people probably said that, but, you but know. some people were saying, you know, some other stuff too. So yeah, like, they don't care about that. They were saying that he didn't even get shot and it was fake. A lot of them. It's crazy. They say and somebody threats. died. That's a shame. So when they call say that he's a threat to democracy, wouldn't that like you know cause an uproar with some people and like hey hell yeah we yeah, need to handle that? I'm more shocked that fifty percent y'all really believe that fifty percent like on like on some real shit though y'all think fifty percent of America would vote for Kamala roughly. Damn, bro. Close to it. Hold uh, on. I think, be, I think she'll have a pretty good turnout. She's going to get like 47. Not, not like 60% Trump. Yeah, she's going to get Obama. like, it's going to be nah. like 47. Okay, what group she going to win then? Uh, women. We know. We all know. women. We, we see it. We see she'll, it. She'll, daily. she'll definitely be leading in the women. But hold on. Not so, all women. You think it's not all, no, but she'll be leading. 48? A lot of women. You think it's like 52 48? Yeah, I think that's what it'll be. There's a lot of women. I think I think that'll be the split. She's going to get the minorities in the world. There's more registered women voters. 70% of black people vote Democrat. She gets every percent of black people. 
Boom, right there. <laughs> you think off rip? Men and women. I don't so then know, you get bro. All the white women. I don't think she's getting get all, all the black women. women. Yeah, boom. Be right. You get a good amount of, by every, I'd say 99% of the black women. Shit. Boom. I, I don't know about the black men. You, you get by 65% to 60% of the black male. Boom. Oh, I don't know the Mexicans I booked wow. to them too much. I don't know, bro, because no, I've seen a lot of black males say they vote for that's Trump. What I'm I said 60 to 65 will vote for Kamala. That's how it does. I even been seeing women. Say we was living in the wild, wild west, and these were the two choices, and we didn't have no media. What It'd would y'all think story. it would be? It'd be a different then. story. It'd be a different story. But you say wild, wild, wild west, west. we do yeah. have media, and they had media. They had the newspaper yeah. media. Well, but they were still spinning. They were doing this since then. They been, that's why I said they've been running that's that place since true. then, bro. Back then, they put the newspaper. But yeah, they have. Yeah, the the media has power. They always have. Yeah. They, they alter people's going, perceptions. Hmm. You think it'll be like seventy thirty then? If it was like no newspaper, no no bullshit, no outlet. No, strictly off the economy. And you can't how you we... can't go off no outlet. When is there gonna be no outlet? People are always gonna. Yo, talk. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I, I think mean, it's, it's gonna be. The, I think it's gonna be a, a white. You say if you look at the numbers, yes. If you look at the numbers, you would vote for Trump, but. People aren't looking at the numbers. Have y'all ever seen a Kamala Harris flag just driving around anywhere? I have yeah. not. That's why I'm confused, Dude, bro. I, I see, see Trump flags everywhere. She's only been the nominee the, for like a month. So. I don't see so, the support. So, you say? I can at least see a flag or a stick or something. Like, I, I don't see, even see that. I only see woke supporters and I only see, you know, some black supporters. Well, don't, that underestimate, just, don't underestimate bro, that, bro. 70% like you shouldn't of underestimate that. vote left. That you should happens. not underestimate that. I feel like that you're, is a fact. I feel like you are greatly underestimating her as a candidate. Okay, okay. I might like, be tripping. I, mean, I just based on the facts and the data but that I've seen. said it. He's alarmed. We're all alarmed. You should definitely be up and on. Yeah, bro, when I first saw her go vote, up and speak after you, you after hate, Joe you, Biden you dropped out, I said, America, whoa. I believe. So, okay. How much Inside. of the NFL you think is voting was, was side? Uh, that is a good question. Because that, that can determine the vote. <laughs> would, that's how I look at it. I would, you know? probably, say, I would probably, probably say. I would probably say. Because they're money. They're 65, 45. I would probably say 65, 45. 65% Kamala. red. Nah, I'm to the other way. I don't really? Know. Yeah. You think they vote blue? They are still black. I don't think they're that black. Well, you know, they're not into politics. You still got the. Uh, I don't exactly. think they're that. So they going off what they heard. Man, my mama told me. Uh, nah, bro. I think I think a lot. But of they got like you know, bro, man, I think a lot, lot of, of them, the quarterbacks is gonna vote for Trump. <laughs> I think a lot of them are not gonna want to like pay more taxes. Yeah, I think but they you know, want less taxes. They don't see taxes. it like that, bro. Uh-huh. Said, I, like Charles Barkley said, I feel like I'm helping black people. I'll take that link to help my people. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just I was telling Todd earlier though, I think like with the politics situation, I feel like you're gonna vote what you got introduced to. Kinda. Like yeah, yeah, like what your parents introduced to you to. Like when you first like nah, you, we're talking about Michael Jordan. Say, like, do you think he's Republican or Democrat? I said, you know, he has a different group of people he hangs out with now. So I think like if he was a young kid and he got rich and he never heard about politics, maybe from his mama, but like, you know, Bron, I mean, Bron is gonna get taxed and he's gonna but that's vote what for Kamala but, like, no, but the people Bron be around is probably taxed liberal. As a fucking fortune. It's the people LA. that you be around what makes you you decide what I, I think I think Michael nah. I think Michael was I, so, I think it's like who brings I politics know up to Michael you. Was. I know what Michael Jordan is. Uh, the ball, the ball head. Because if my daddy tells me Trump's not racist from a kid, I'm gonna believe that. Thanks. That's so that's why I said though. Yeah. That's why it has to be like that's when, a heavy when influence. When you first get to politics and you can't have like be biased. But a lot of people don't it. really talk to their like. My I just think. I just think. Michael, I just think a lot of people. Lot. I think a lot of people vote uh, uh, off of who's a better person, and I think in politics that's just not the right way to think. You need to think who they who can make your life better and who can make things better for the country like number one thing as i said who can make your life better don't prop up social issues a lot of social issues are just made up mm-hmm. and, and and propagated by the media to make you think and feel a certain way i think if you are more factual thinking person and you look at things that will really affect you and policies and things like that that's what you need so to y'all may say 50 percent of america don't vote off Oh, 100. The I, think yeah, it, I, th- I think that people just looking at it and just not looking He's at the bottom. Yes. yes. What did Bo yes. say? I think I would say the majority media. of voters right. vote that way. He's like, like, I ain't gonna lie. Who does they like better? He's Who's more likable? This, bro. Who's more likable? Like, let's think about it. That's 2020 crazy. was a prime example of that. I, I would say our age group probably votes off that the highest. Yeah, mm. that's why Vivek mm. said, man, 25. Vivek says 50 50, man. We gotta vote, man. 25. That's, crazy to me, bro. that's pretty crazy you underestimate her so much. Yeah, I do, bro, because the shit's just crazy to me. Like, these, they have no policies. They haven't been running good. They've been sleep. They've been shitting. They've been doing all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I just don't. I, I don't think it should be close. They taking my Carson rights. They taking my rights and they racist. 
Don't don't white folks over there want to take taxes away from me, man. That's racist. I heard they gonna put black folks back in chains. <laughs> don't 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 don't. A lot of a lot of older people actually believe that. Them racist white folks said they trying to oh, shut down oh, the border. Oh, oh. Them racist white folks they trying well, to say hey, over hey, there. Prime example with the panel, she kind of just yeah went on about what they said about Kamala, what they said about her. Nigga, then pop, then 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 Yahoo might say some crazy shit. What the fuck you say, man? I won't do it's some crazy shit. What if he get crazy? What y'all want to do? Then what y'all gonna say then? I don't know. We out of here, y'all.